What's going on, everyone? It's time for another creature feature sci-fi adventure film, I guess you could describe this. So I've reviewed three of the Jurassic Park films. Jurassic Park, The Lost World Jurassic Park, and Jurassic World Dominion. So today we're going to talk about Jurassic Park 3. Um, it was released by Universal Pictures July 18th, 2001. It's written by Peter Dugman, Alexander Payne, and Jim Taylor. It was produced by uh, Kathleen Kennedy and Larry Franco, and it was directed by Ty Johnson, who did Captain America the First Avenger, The Rocketeer, The Wolfman 2010 remake, and Jumanji, the original. The only good one. Anyways, uh, this had a budget of $93 million and a box office of 320 or $368.8 million. Jurassic Park 3, well, Dr. Durant is recruited to help find a missing a family friend and a couple's son, who's like an estranged couple, but they come back together and try to find them, which they think is on the island that uh, where the Jurassic Park took place, but it is actually on Isla Sorna, the other island, when they get there. And, uh, yeah, they kind of convince him and his paleontologist friend to come and help search for them, where they run into quite, quite a few harrowing moments. And uh, they obviously run into the dinosaurs and stuff while trying to find them. And it's up to Dr. Grant to help get them out and off the island. Um, yeah, this is a pretty standard monster movie, the way they uh, put it together and stuff like that. You have uh, a very cliche type of story where you uh, they have like this people make dumb decisions don't really tell the truth and get people stuck in harrowing other situations and then uh yeah but um with a pretty bland story though uh for what it's worth i still thought it looked pretty good uh, the cinematography is really good the animatronic dinosaurs look pretty good too like the textures and everything looks really good some of them look a little you could tell they're a little stiff and like robotic but uh like the night scene with the final big one and stuff like that looks amazing and stuff even the cg in this looks pretty good and still holds up today i always think in my opinion i always thought um the jurassic park their first three films the special effects are some of the best in film and to an extent Jurassic World 2 as well uh but not as much in some contrast yeah I'll talk about that when I talk about Jurassic World but for this one um yeah I thought the CG actually held up pretty good yeah things not too bad in it uh it's pretty good uh maybe like some of it could was a little hokey, but for the most part, it was pretty decent. And uh, I just think this film is a fun ride. I know a lot of people don't like this movie, and there's a lot of there's actually some really good humor mixed in with the way it was written and stuff like that. I just wish they didn't do the standard monster movie route. They could have taken it so many different interesting ways, and they just stuck with the safe route, which uh, sadly to lead on to the ultra safe route which is what 99 percent of movies do nowadays <laughs> which uh yeah but still for what it is i still think it's better than most junk that comes out these days so uh jurassic park 3 is a fun ride it's a standard film with a standard story with some mediocre characters in it but overall i still have fun watching it and i still like it so overall i'll give jurassic park 3 a three out of five um it's by no means i love the first two but this one it's still good still better than the other three that i the other ones so uh that came after it but yeah uh so yeah that's what i thought about jurassic park 3 pretty standard but still fun um but yeah if you want to check it out uh it's not streaming anywhere anymore i don't think so uh i'll at least link the trailer down below so you can check that out but also make sure you check out my instagram so i'll post clips of films and review in the future on the story 
Make sure to the film title hashtag and sub on film and the hashtag so you're aware of it. Also, my letterbox down below, Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first star rating after watching the films. And my Twitter's down below, Reviews on Discord Derek. So follow me on those platforms to include this channel. Like this video, share it to more people, wherever. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And if you have any films, film franchise, and any genre, and on any streaming service, let me know down in the comments as well. And then I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can, and if I can find them. Also, if you want me to do Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, the two that I haven't done, sooner rather than later, let me know. Um, probably do them in a couple days, but yeah, let me know down below if you want them earlier. Also, uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Hope we'll find something weird, obscure, and odd that you probably never thought checking out to together. And also, so you can hear my opinions on popular films, classic films, and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because, well, we're going to do a comedy. Again, uh, I know comedy's not huge on this channel, but I watched it, so, and I never reviewed it yet, so I'm going to review it. Uh, we're going to talk about Zach and Mary make a porno in the next one. We're going to maybe do Jurassic World later after that. But, uh, yeah, so make sure you tune in for that. And don't forget, always, no bullshit, people. You got to be straight up with them. Doesn't matter how much money you have or not. If you're, if you're a family that's in a harrowing situation, don't lie to them because they'll feed you <laughs> to wherever you're going or make sure you die. So be considerate. <laughs> and I guess I'll see you all in the next one. So until then, cheers.